Hello and welcome back to the iHeat YouTube channel. Today we're doing a review of the Worcester Bosch CDI Compact. It goes from kilowatts of 28 all the way up to 36, which means it's suitable for medium sized to large sized homes with two to four bedrooms and maybe two bathrooms. Of course, you guessed it, it is a CDI Compact, so it can fit in many kitchen cupboards and of course, airing cupboards. It is really compact and can hide away pretty much anywhere. Flow rates, you've got 10 litres per minute in the 28 kilowatts, 11.5 in the 32, and then 12.9 litres per minute in the 36 kilowatt model. This is a great amount of flow rate. Litres per minute are nice and high, which is similar when compared to likes of the Worcester 8000 Life or Style, uh, or a 4000, which is where I'd compare the CDI Compact to. Basically, when you're looking at Worcester Bosch boilers, your choices are either gonna be a 2000 for a small home, maybe an apartment, a uh, 4,000 for a bigger, maybe three bedroom house. And then you're left with the CDI Compact or the 8000 Life or Style. I had this exact same decision when we installed the 8000 Style in my house. I could either go for a CDI Compact, which is just plain Jane, works amazingly well, has all the features of an 8000, but doesn't have that nice, sexy sort of design as the 8000. So your choice only comes down to, do you care about how it looks? And I think that's what the CDI Compact is there for. It's there for those people who don't really care about the appearance of their boiler because it's getting put in a cupboard like everyone normally does and probably should do. Dimensions wise, it's got a height of 690 millimeters, a width of 390, and then a depth of 280 millimeters. This is really compact. I don't think I've seen any boilers with a height less than 700 apart from possibly the EcoFit Pure or the new Navian, but this is a really, really small boiler. That width is still less than the majority, at least you normally get around 400 mil, and the depth is just laughable. This can easily fit in a kitchen cupboard, which is really nice for those who aren't wanting to switch up their entire kitchen just for the sake of their boiler. Really digging it myself in this video. Another great feature of the CDI Compact is it's got the most simple controls I think I've ever seen. You drop down the flap and you've just got two knobs which control your radiator, heat temperature, and your hot water temperature. Really, really nice and simple. Could explain it to a giraffe. It's very easy to control, looks quite good too. The only downside I can say about the controls and the functionality is the error display, how to know what the error codes are. With the CDI Compact, it is a flashing blue semicircle on the front, which tells you what's wrong with the boiler. Granted, with this boiler, you aren't gonna get many problems. The service end at Worcester are brilliant with communication and customer service. But if you do happen to get an error, you will just be sitting there looking at your boiler, flash, flash, no flash, flashly, flash, flash. And that's not always ideal. Cost-wise, this of course is a mid-range price boiler. As I said, it is the in-between of a 4,000 to a 8,000. Uh, and efficiency-wise, it's got the ERP rating of an A, which is always good, and it's throughout all Worcester's boilers. But with this exact boiler, you have a low power pump. This just means a reduction in electrical usage when running the pump on the boiler. So if you're running a lot of taps or having a shower or running a bath, it's gonna be using a lot less electricity to run the pump than your old boiler. Despite the weird shape, design, and odd functionality with the error codes, uh, this boiler can still be connected to traditional smart thermostats, your nests, your hives, even your easy control from most of themselves. Whilst we're here, do leave a comment with your thoughts of the CDI. Do you use it? Do you sell it? Do you install it? Are you a customer? Do you enjoy using it? Do you have any problems with it? Uh, or any questions about error codes or how to use it? And we'll make some videos about it. Of course, leave a like and share to anyone who is in the market for a new boiler, as it could well be this one. If that is the case, go to iheat.co.uk forward slash quote, uh, answer a few questions, take a few photos, and we can be there the very next day to install your brand new boiler, which could well be the CDI Compact from Worcester Bosch. To wrap up, it is ready for hydrogen at a blend of 20%, which we're just getting used to seeing it with every manufacturer now. This means if hydrogen ever comes into play, you are more than ready for it. We are actually down in a little hydrogen village next week or so, where we get to see the actual boilers running off hydrogen themselves, which will be very interesting. Uh, so make sure you are subscribed to see that video coming out very soon. And of course you get a 10 year guarantee when you buy through iHeat as standard, which is just one of many reasons why to buy from iHeat. We have over 6,000 Trustpilot reviews, over 500 engineers nationwide to install your brand new boilers, and we can be there the very next day. Fixed price quote, what more could you want? Let's look inside this boiler.
Right, so here we are, CDI Compact, drop down the flap, you've got your two knobs, the one on the right for your water temperature, the one on the left for your heating. You've then got a easy to understand LCD display with buttons either side. On the left, you've got Eco, Reset and Return, that button just goes back in the menu, and on the right, you've got Up, Down and OK. Very basic, very easy to understand and control. Then in the middle, you've got your blue flash display, which will go flash on, flash off, as mentioned before, which shows your error codes. Moving on then, so you've got your pump on the right, which as mentioned before, is that energy saving pump, so it uses less electric than a standard boiler. You then have your condensate on the left. This looks like a 500 mil, so that means there won't be any risk of frozen condensate pipe, which is a common error with a lot of boilers. With this boiler, once the condensate fills up, it'll get to that 500 mil and it'll flush the whole system out. On the 2000, for example, it does a little trickle and those little trickles turn into icicles, which then block up your pipe. With this, won't be an issue. You've then got your plate heat exchanger all the way behind that and all your pipe fittings along the bottom, your PCB at the front inside the flap and your core flex there, nice and easy. And there she is. Right, so there we have it. The heat exchanger, the fan at the top, the snorkel and the flue. If you've watched a few of these reviews or you know what you're looking for inside a boiler, you may be wondering, where is the water vessel? Now on the CDI Compact, the water vessel actually goes behind the boiler in the wall mount, which is a great feature of the CDI Compact. It comes with a jig almost you have to put on the wall, which has all the pipe fittings already there nice and easy to fit but the vessel is on the outside which i haven't seen with any other boiler or from another manufacturer so there we have it that is the worcester bosch cdi compact this is a great boiler for those homes with two to four bedrooms and up to two bathrooms uh, and what a great choice it could be if design and beauty isn't what you're after inside your boiler you just want a really powerful reliable from a well-renowned brand that does the job and does the job well this boiler is for you. If you're after a more flashy, on display type boiler, look at our reviews of the Worcester 8000 as the style version and the life version are very pretty to look at. All good so far. That is it for the review. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. This has been iHeat.